sky looks just amazing. Amazing fall colors. Trees look awesome. I love the fall, but tonight we're going to make a foundry to melt down um, aluminum cans, make aluminum ingots, and cast stuff. Casting will probably come later. Tonight we're going to work on the forge. That sunset. Idaho sunset. Awesome. I didn't get that day that I filmed the intro. I'm keeping that intro because it's awesome. And the sunset was amazing, but things didn't work out and we couldn't shoot it that day. And now we're shooting it on a day that it's miserable and raining. The first thing we got to do is empty this fire extinguisher. We're going to actually use this for the crucible to melt the stuff down in. Um, it's a brand new fire extinguisher. We couldn't find a used one anywhere. I don't know any place that sells used fire extinguishers. I couldn't find a good steel container anywhere. Um, I ended up finding some online that I probably could have bought for cheaper after I had already bought this. But, live and learn. That's kind of fun. That was all of it? That's it. What? <laughs> all right, today we're trying to build a foundry so we can melt down aluminum cans and build cool crap out of them. So what we're basically going to do is create a hollow foundry using the plaster of Paris to make like a insulated wall inside this galvanized uh, thing. And so this is a mixing thing. Dave, this is your video. You got, you got this too. <laughs> you can't That's handle right. it. We got this thing and seven. We're thing. following uh, the the video that Grant Thompson, the King of Random, did. I'll put a link to that in the description. Okay, so what we have here is a 12 quart pail and a two and a half quart measuring cup. Um, one inch by 18 inch galvanized pipe and some PVC fittings. What we're basically gonna do is fill this pail up with plaster of Paris mix and then jam a cup in here so we can have a nice negative space to light our coals and make our forge. What? It's in a bag? In a box. Ridiculous. I can't cut this with my knife because this is a church knife, not a yeah. work knife. Yeah, it's a show knife. Do you have a knife that I can use to open this? Fine. I'll use my church knife. How much? One of these? Wait. Better watch the video again. Does he mean one of the three quarters? Oh, all the way to the top. One of these, said one on top. And then three quarters of these. Quit going up! Go down and then I don't have to... Jeez. Once we see how high you can lift the back. I know. Lift it higher, Devin. Higher. Higher, Devin. Where's about three quarters? Keep going. Keep going. Right there. Right there. That was a stupid laugh. Oh, even better. That makes me wipe my own face. Still October, so be very careful. There we go. And stop. I don't know how to stop. Three quarters, Devin. I know. The same three quarters as last time. Yeah. All right, just fail. That's a lot. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to mix it in there. Fine, let's mix it in there. Fuck it. Now there's lots of room. I like how you're making Devin do all the dirty work. Yeah. I'm not a fan of getting dirty. Dave. Ooh. It's very soft. Like it's flour. an epic moment. Dave's getting his hands dirty. This doesn't happen very often. Did you do hot water? Yeah. I don't put my hands in cold water. So one and a quarter of these. Stuff's very fine, like like uh, flour. It almost already feels like there's water mixed into it, but there's not. 
we've mixed equal parts of sand and plaster of Paris, and this is going to be what makes the heat resistant wall within our forge. Um, so at this point we need to pour water in here, and as soon as we do, we've got about 15 minutes to get everything the way we like it before it starts to cure. The uh, sand is just play sand we bought at Home Depot. I think I've got it mixed pretty well. Let's dump the water in. Ooh, it's warm. It's very warm. There's a lot of water in it. Like, a worried amount of water. I'm just trying to break up all the clumps, I feel. It's very wet. Not like any concrete I've mixed up before. Just filling around for clumps. There's several pretty big clumps floating around in there, and some stuck to the sides. Some on the bottoms. Bottom. Yeah. Or bottoms. bottoms. Yeah. We pour all this bucket has multiple bottoms. It's kind of getting thick, so. Yeah, it's going to cure fast. Okay, so this didn't fill all the way to the top, but what we're going to do to make a hollow center in here is jam this bucket full of water down in there and it should displace it up to the top. If Dave will just take his sweet time and we'll just kind of jam this down in there. If we would have used an empty bucket, then it would have just float and so. And then we're gonna have to hold this here for about three minutes before it. Try to get it as center as possible. Yeah. Quit moving. It really wants to jump back up. The hole's gonna be oblong. Where is it? Where does it need to be? There we go. There we go. Devin's the uh, graphic designer at work, so oblong things. Things that aren't artsy. It's taking forever. Yeah, this looks, this this looks this. way quicker in the video than these things up. Also, we need like a lead weight to set in the bottom of that bucket yeah, so it doesn't this fight back. This is bull crap. It's going to cure on my hand and I'm going to have a permanent yeah, there's gonna fireproof there's hand. There's going to be fingerprints in here. There's no, no fingerprints. Look we'll, at my hand. We'll be able to... Yeah, that's true. You're gross. Three minutes take forever. Are we sure it was just three? What if it's like 15? What if it's a dozen? What if, it's, what if we're here for a dozen minutes? <laughs> yeah. Turns out I'm not as smart as you think I am. Um, I'm gonna let go. No! This is really annoying. I'll get thrown through the roof. Fine, I got this. Just abandon me in an hour of me. It's fine. I'll figure something out. Hey. Maybe hot, turns out hot water's bad to use. Yeah, I think that was a bad idea. I'm pretty pretty serious. I think that was a bad move. No. It wasn't. You're not even doing anything. Don't tell me how to do my job. Hey, read the bag and see if it says don't use hot water. Warning! Clean, <laughs> cold water. Really? Yeah, 40 to 50 degrees. I screwed that up. <laughs> you use maybe... 89 degrees. That felt, felt good on my hands. Do not breathe dust. Too late. I was kind of huffing that pretty hardcore. Um, it uses the word cold water in here quite a bit. What you doing? What am I doing? He's going to be waiting here for about 30 minutes for this to cure. I gotta wait for the water so to get cold so it's cold him water. Some, a snack or something. <laughs> yeah, could you give me some dinner? The worst part about holding this whole thing is how dirty my hand is. You could have just at least had it warm like that. Steaming hot water. It was like steaming. It was steaming hot water. Is this dry yet? Uh, not even close. Thanks for asking. Why would you use hot water when it clearly says to use cold water? Why do you gotta screw everything up? Why don't you read things, Devin? We should like let it cure for a couple minutes and then jam this down in there. No. How's that? Is it helping? Not even close. Try like forcefully holding it down with that though. No. Yeah. Because then you'll let it go and then I'll have to be holding it. Just, just <laughs> try it. What does it say if you don't read the instructions and use hot water? It says it can take 6 to 10 minutes to set. Is that black licorice? It smells like black licorice. 
What is it? It's salt water. Are you going to share or are you just going to eat it in front of all of us? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Go get some for the rest of us, you jerk. <laughs> Warm water makes it set faster. Big to differ. Imagine how fast it would be if we were doing cold water. Why would it say cold water? You've got Madden left. Why would? You're about already there. Why, why would they say cold water on the hey, instructions? you're doing a fantastic job. Maybe. Isn't he doing a great job? Thumbs up if Devin is doing a fantastic job. I'll hold it. <laughs> Just for your reaction. Get your hands up. Let's do the... We need to play the theme for uh, Ghost right now. <laughs> How's that go? <laughs> All I can think of is the top gun. Watching every motion in this foolish night. What song is that? <laughs> You got it. It's, Go ahead. It's, it's close. I can think of it. I just had it and then I lost it. Google it. You got some time to kill. Is it? It's a theme song from Ghost. Siri. I don't know what you mean by what is the theme song. <laughs> Siri, you are useless. That doesn't sound good. No. <laughs> Perfect, but whatever. Okay, well. That's good. Now we just wait another year, maybe. How long? I don't know. The guy read all the instructions. Uh, no, I watched a very rushed version of the YouTube. That's video. how you watch every YouTube video. Skip, yeah. skip, 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 skip. I watched it five times. I don't know what it's in. Okay. Jackpot. <laughs> don't point it at me. Point it at Peyton. No. <laughs> That's what the inside of a fire extinguisher is. And cover your eyes! Put your hand down. You gave me a protuberance. I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna watch the video again? That guy doesn't know what he's talking about. Yeah, he lied. He lied to us. He misled us. Alright. <laughs> Smooth on the top. It's getting is, thicker. Is it in it? Oh yeah, that looks beautiful. <laughs> the band's mover came in here! With it down at the bottom, I'm just gonna mark the level. Like maybe right there. It's taking too long, I give up. I'm just kidding. Whoa! Slow and steady wins the race, so. Let me try it, Jim. Okay, oh, it's pretty hard. It's cured for about an hour. I'm just gonna try to pull this away from the sides. Did you look at that? <laughs> I'm gonna get wet. You are, you should dump it up. Did you get it? Nice, you, you saved it. With the water in it. Is it surprisingly smooth? It's surprising. No, it's got bumps all over it. Yeah, He's a normal. liar. That's normal. That guy's a liar. You're a liar, Greg hey. Thompson. Let's see. Oh, that's real good. That's pretty good. We're gonna drill a hole. For this. Through the side. For the pipe. How do you get these open? It'll With a knife. Pop. Always cut towards yourself. Hmm. That's what remembering it wrong. That's what they taught me in the Boy Scouts. Always cut towards your friend. <laughs> um, that's two quarters off of your totem chip card. This is a hole saw. How high up from the bottom? Doesn't matter, that guy's a liar anyway. Wait, wait, do you have to ruin that bucket? Yeah. Yeah. Dang it. 
This bucket is already it ruined. Is. It's full of concrete. This ain't coming out ever. <laughs> oh, I was hoping it would. I liked the bucket. Like, what the crap is she I was gonna plant hey. a flower in it. There's five bucks. There's five bucks. You still can. It's like 30 that degrees to me. really high, but... You're almost there. Ooh. Ooh. Maybe you should just stop. Hey. Hey. I need to hold this up somehow. Just pull it out, baby. It's good. Good call. It's a good call. It's never going to just stay there. Oh, this isn't meant to stay in there. Babe, thanks for letting me waste the last two and a half minutes of my <laughs> life on that. This pipe is going to be the air intake. We drilled that hole in the side. The air... We're going to screw this on. Like that. We're going to put that on there. This is just an adapter, threaded pipe adapter. Slip sleeve that goes into the 90. This is one and a half inch. This is a one inch pipe. And then this thing, a piece of pipe to go on this. This is just going to sit in there and then go down and on the end we're going to put a blow dryer that we bought from the thrift store. So the blow dryer will blow air in, in around the coals and heat, superheat the, uh, the oven. Which will then heat up the crucible and melt the, the aluminum. I think we're done. What else right. do we have to do? We have the, the base of our foundry uh, setting right now. In our next video, we'll cover making a lid and firing it up and making some aluminum ingots out of cans. Don't you touch my lens. A little bit more. Don't you touch my lens with that. Seriously? Dave, she said not to. Don't touch my She said to lens. not to. Don't blow on my lens. Oh my gosh. I got it. <laughs> I got it. Hey, I, Should I, I break your thing? I said I Go got it. it. Oh my gosh, I said I got it. Thanks for watching, guys. There's Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. What's your Hey, Devin, could you cut that?